Hi guys, I'm Buddy and today I'm going to show you how to make some pizzettas. Not pizza, pizzettas. And pizzettas are basically tiny pizzas. And pizzas are big, pizzettas are small. So first we're going to make the sauce and we're going to turn the hob on. And we've got two cloves of garlic here and we're just going to chop them up. I'm scared of this thing. Remember, you have to keep your fingers out of the way so you do not cut yourself. And you can get an adult to do this bit. What we're gonna do, we're gonna get this into like a little pile in the middle. We can use a slightly bigger knife. This is one of the safest methods of chopping. It's called a uh, cross chopping. It's very sticky garlic. We're just gonna put a drizzle of oil in. And then we're gonna get our garlic. Just put it in there. You can hear it sizzling. So we're just going to go around with a spatula, shake it around. Make sure the um, garlic doesn't burn. Got some canned tomatoes here, we're going to put it into our uh, garlic and these are whole canned tomatoes so Dad says these are the best ones to get. <laughs> they bursted everywhere. So now we're going to get a masher and we're just going to mash it up so we can't really see too much skin or the tomato skin in there. Using the masher makes it turn into a nice sauce, smooth texture kind of. Okay, so we can add some salt and pepper to that. That's really nice. Now I just wash my hands. Some pepper, salt. And also what you can add, which is really nice, is some basil to tear it up. So just, you can tear it up a bit. You don't really have to, but. And just put it in there. Um, I don't really know if my brother likes basil that much. Mix that around. So I'm just gonna put this into on here but only half on so like there and now we're going to go on to our dough so when you normally make pizza it normally takes really long for the dough to like prove and re you have to rest it this one is just a really easy two ingredient dough so that's 350 grams of self-raising flour so i'm just going to make a hole in the middle and then in with our yogurt 250 grams in the middle it is overflowing, that's what happens with wells. We can use a spatula and just mix that in. Then we can go in with our hands after it's all mixed in. We just don't really wanna get our hands too messy right now. So we're just gonna give this a stir around. And when you can't stir anymore, you can go in with your hands and just make it into a dough consistency. With my left hand, I'm gonna hold the thing and with the side, I'm just gonna put all the flour into it like this. It's like a dough consistency now, so we can just put the bowl somewhere else. This flour somewhere else. Piece of flour got my eye. And oh, yes. We've got to get some flour and just put it on the board so it's, it doesn't stick to the board, our dough. And then we can just knead that. So you can let this rest a bit after you've kneaded it, but you don't have to. You can just crack on straight to the pizza. It's nice and smooth, and now we can cut it into pieces so we can make some pizza. You cut your one into quarters and then your quarters into a half. So you have eight and I hate math. So we've got our eight bits now and we're gonna roll these into balls. Just gonna put them to one side. Before we roll it, we've got to turn our sauce off. Looks really good. Put some flour out and then now we can roll it. And then we're gonna turn it over and then we're gonna roll it this way. So it creates a circle. So I'm happy with this shape. So I've done these ones and then crack on with this one and you're gonna come back to me when I'm done. So I've done all my rolling and I've got a really good stack here. And now we're gonna add our toppings. We're gonna add our tomato sauce, but we can add any sort of cheese, mozzarella, basil, parma ham, ham, chili, tomato slices, sausage, salami, sausage, spinach, sausage, more sausage. You need a load of sausage, spicy sausage, English sausage, American sausage, Italian sausage, anchovies. Now we can make a pizza. So put a pan there. So I'm gonna oil it. So I'll use a brush. When I put oil on my hands, it never tends to come off. And now we can put, I think we do three. First, we're gonna do our sauce, of course. So don't go right to the edge, just leave it a bit of crust there. There we go. So the first one we're gonna do is a classic margarita. Got some mozzarella here, sprinkle that round. So River's actually a really big fan of a margarita. I like to get the biggest piece of basil and put it into the smaller ones. I'm just gonna cut these because I want to. So that's our margarita one for River. So now we're gonna move on to my one, the three cheese and chili. So we've got our parmesan, cheddar, which is very squishy, and take our mozzarella that we used last time. We've got our grater here, and then 
a knife, this is a big one, and, and a red one. We're just gonna grate some of each cheese and we're gonna mix it up so it's nice and evenly mixed. Nice long strokes, just like this. Yeah, that's enough. And then I ate that, because I like Parmesan. And now we can put a bit of mozzarella into this as well. Let's just put it on the pizza. We're wasting our time here. And then just cut pieces off this. That's enough. I cut quite small slices because I don't like a lot of spice on my pizza because I want to enjoy it. And I don't want to be like a big basil leaf on the top. One of the tips is when you've just handled chilli, you don't really want to put the chilli in your eyes because when I was on holiday, I did that, I wasn't very happy. So you've got to wash your hands after you've handled chilli. You know, Dad wanted mushroom and ham, I'm going to give it to him. I don't really like the sound of mushroom and ham go away fly, but whatever Dad wants. And we've got a mushroom, but we're just going to put some of the cheese that we had from the last pizza, which is really useful. So now for our us mu mushroom, mushroom. And we're going to do it from this side, because if we did it from this side, it'd be wobbly. So we just do it from this side and just cut like this. So we've got a little bit of ham here and we're just going to tear that up and then after that we can just put that on there. And now I'm going to take them into the oven to bake for 10 minutes at as high as the oven can go. So I've done my three pizzas, they've baked and now I'm going to get them off the tray onto this chopping board. And this is my one and Dad's one, the strange one and then River's one, the margarita. So now I'm gonna cut them up. I'm only gonna cut mine up because I'm only gonna eat my one, but. So I've also got some salad here. I like salad. And I've got this pizza slice and I'm going to have a try of my pizza. And it's good. And it's so simple because it's like just two ingredients for the base, like cheap base. And I like eating it because I like pizza. Mm. Mm. Wow.